Hi everybody, Leslie here. Um, on my last project, when I was making um, my book, I used up all of my gesso. So in this video today, I'm going to make some more gesso for you. And uh, one of the first things I'm going to do though is I'm going to run downstairs and clean this up because I can't stand when it get all, I get all these dry, yucky stuff on here and it makes everything kind of lumpy. So we're going to make gesso today and I'll post the recipe at the bottom. But let me run this downstairs and wash it out real quick and I'll get all my supplies and we'll be right back. Hi there, I'm back and I've cleaned up my jar. Um, what I use uh, as a container, it's just an old um, Tostitos a uh, salsa dip jar, all nice and cleaned up. And the ingredients for this are really, really easy. It's a quarter cup baby, baby powder, a quarter cup of water, a half a cup of white paint, and a quarter cup of white glue. So let's start. And I'm going to really try and keep in frame here because my last video I was way out of frame and try and keep my gray hair out of it. All right, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. And then I'm going to add my quarter cup of white glue. And this is just school glue, plain old regular school glue. I'm mixing the water and the glue first because I really want to make sure that this glue gets um, mixed up really good. I don't want any clumps. So I'm just going to use the back of a bottom of a paintbrush. Kind of stir that up. I don't care if I get bubbles in it or anything like that because it'll, the bubbles will eventually pop because I'm going to shake it a little bit anyway. All right, again, that was a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of glue, and I'm mixing it up real good here. I want to make sure that it's all well and mixed. All right, now I'm going to add my half cup of white paint. take this out here for just a second. Whoa. All right, here's a half cup of white paint. And all this is, is it's the um, Walmart brand of white acrylic paint, crafter's paint. I don't use my good paint on this. Get that all in there. And you can add more paint to this mixture after you've um, added your baby powder in. You could also tint it. I would love to make some black gesso, but I'm afraid that, you know, this is all white. So if you added black paint to it, I think the white from the powder and the white from the glue would turn it gray. But I don't know. Maybe if I just added a lot of black paint. And that's my phone, and I'm going to ignore it for a second. Sorry about that. All right, this is getting good and mixed up. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. 
Now I'm going to do a quarter cup of baby powder. Quarter cup. And this is just a uh, plain old baby powder that I bought at Walmart. And again, people like, I've got a mess going, people like different consistencies of their gesso. Some like it thicker. And this also makes my craft room smell nice. <laughs> I'm just going to mix, 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 mix. Now it almost looks kind of gritty. I don't know if you can see it. That's the baby powder. But what I'm going to do after I'm done mixing this real good here, I'm going to put the lid on and give it a good shake. And this is my gesso. This is how I make my gesso. And people ask what gesso is. Gesso is a primer for canvas, but it also acts as a great um, medium to use in your journals, to put on flowers if you want to add a little um, depth to them. Let me get a baby wipe here. Kind of sort of clean up this mess I've got going. Yeah. And I'm just going to give it a good shake. I'm making you dizzy yet? <laughs> There it is. Homemade gesso. You can see uh put the lid back on. Take this paintbrush. And there it is. It adds, it's not just white paint. I mean you can go over white paint with anything. Um let me put white paint on anything. I might thicken this up a little bit. It's a little bit too thin for me. Um, but it adds tooth. It adds something for your paint to grab onto or whatever medium that you're using. Another baby wipe. See, so it doesn't quite go you know, it doesn't cover it up. You know, I suppose if I added a little more white paint, I'd probably get a little bit better of a uh, coverage. Not coverage, but you know, it's not so see-through. But for me, it's not a matter of that. It's a matter of giving glossy papers or something like that something to hold on to. Um, whatever medium I'm going to use, whether it's ink or paint, so that's it. That is my recipe for homemade gesso. Again, that is a quarter cup baby powder, a quarter cup water, a half a cup white paint, and a quarter cup of white glue. School glue, this way, sorry, just plain old school glue. I buy a lot of that when it's um, back to school time. And, you know, Walmart acrylic craft paint. Just plain old craft paint. And then baby powder. Plain old baby powder. Which I have a lot of in my house because I have a small granddaughter. Three months old this week. So we use a lot of baby powder. But that's it. Just so in a jar. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Enjoy it. I uh, hope you make it and let me know how you like it. All right, that's it. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.